Welcome back. A lake about an hour east of San Angelo, Texas, has become one of the hottest bass fishing lakes in the U.S. and maybe the world. For several years now, OH Ivy Lake has consistently produced some of the biggest bass in Texas. One week ago today, fishing guide Jason Kahn was fishing there and caught the eighth heaviest largemouth bass in state history, weighing just over 17 pounds. And that's why Jason joins us live from OH Ivy Lake, where he's out there now with clients on a fishing trip. Good morning, Jason. Hi, Jason. Congratulations, man. Hey, thank you. How are y'all this morning? We're good. All right, so we'll roll the video. You tell us about how you caught this historic fish just last Monday. Uh, well, I was uh, just got here about 11 o'clock uh, Monday morning to take some clients out, and uh, we uh, we got started. And um, typically, whenever I'm teaching live scope, I'll you know I'll be the one fishing for the first couple of hours, uh, you know, to kind of let them watch what I'm doing. Well, you know, you see the guy up there on the front. He was he was standing beside me. You know, I was casting out. You know, I'd show him. You know, this is how you how you reel it in. This is how you catch the fish. You know, how you reel it, all that. Anyway, um, so this fish here that I caught, you know, she was she just happened to be underneath my my uh, trolling motor. Um, we were drifting back, and I just happened to look down and saw her. And I, you know, I was reeling in, and you can kind of see me step backwards. You know, two steps because I was having to get the bait to go over the top of her head. <laughs> As soon as she, as soon as it went over her head, she just came up and just, you know, smoked it. And me and my customer both saw her. And then I just, you know, set the hook and the fight was on from there. And it was, <laughs> it was just a wild experience all around. Well, you can tell the adrenaline was pumping, right, Sarah? Yeah, you can. And I'll see the celebratory yeah. hug there. Like, oh my yeah. gosh, this is actually real. It, 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 it's, it's massive just looking at it. So do you mind telling us what type of lure you were using? Uh, I was using an umbrella rig. It's Alabama rig, umbrella rig. What it is, it's a, it's a, it's got five wires on it, and um, you can use um, five hooks on it, and um, and then it has blades on it, so it kind of looks just like a, a ball of shad coming across the water. Big school of fish. All right. So what happened right after you caught this bass, and what happened to the fish, Jason? Um, so I uh, took her up to to the marina. Uh, they got a certified scale. Uh, we weighed her up there. Uh, then they called the the Toyota Sherlocker program. Uh, it's part of Texas Parks and Wildlife deal. Uh, they come out and they, you know, they get the fish. I donated it to to them. Uh, they'll hold her in a, a facility up there. She's got her own tank, uh, and sh and that's where she'll spawn at. She'll spawn with a with a sherlocker male. Wow! And you've been doing a lot of interviews this last week. So, what's it been like to gain this kind of fame? Uh, well, uh, I don't know. It's just it's it's crazy. It's been an un unbelievable experience, and you know, God God put that there for me to do and. You know, I put my time in. I'm on the water nearly every day, 300 days a year. So it was just a God-given gift, and I couldn't be more excited about it. You definitely put in the work, brother. All right, so that lake, OH Ivy, has become very well-known for producing supersized bass. Does that make it harder to catch those big fish with more and more boats out on the water now? Yeah, it's it's definitely like these last few days, there's been boats all over the water, and, and all the guys out here just struggling catching fish right now. But when you do, like yesterday, I had a customer had two that were over 13 pounds that just wow. came up and hit his bait, and he missed both of them. But it's, I mean, it's, it's it's definitely hard, and the pressure, boat traffic, and you know, it's only like a, it's probably only about 14,000 acres out here right now because the lake's so low. So it definitely makes it tough. All right. Lastly, we heard a rumor that you named the 17 pounder that you caught last week. So what's her name? <laughs> Uh, it's kind of cheesy, but I named her pre-Valentine because it was the day before Valentine's Day, and there's another guy that had caught one on Valentine's Day and named it Valentine, so I, I figured I'd just name it that. Pre-Valentine. Well, Jason Kahn, again, congratulations, and thanks for talking to us. Thank you all. Yeah, we'll let you get back out there in the water. <laughs> Folks, you can book a trip with Jason. His schedule's filling up fast. Look for Jason Kahn Fishing on Facebook. All right, man, take care. Thank you. All Thank right. you all. Hello, everybody. Stefania Jimenez here. Thank you so much for watching KSAT's YouTube channel. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.